My favorite burgers, I love Joe Jr., Apple Pan, Wendy's Baconator. Woo. Get the Wendy's Baconator, extra cheese, add onion and pickles. That's nice. Wendy's, send the check. <laughs> send the check, Wendy. The very first thing I think I ever did with Munchies, I showed the world how to make a cheeseburger. Edit back to that first video right now. Look at that beautiful guy. I have a goatee, I think a broken tooth, a couple pounds lighter. We've had a beautiful life together. I'm gonna show you how to make the Parts and Labor cheeseburger. Parts and Labor is the restaurant I opened when I was 27 years old. You can find this recipe in my cookbook. So we're just gonna make a quick little bacon onion jam. So literally we're just gonna slice up our bacon and I'm just gonna make some lardons. Bacon onion jam is literally just bacon, onions, red wine vinegar, butter, salt, and we're gonna cook that down for a long, long time. The fat of the bacon is gonna like emulsify and really make the onions absolutely delicious. Here's a big pot, it's preheated. You don't have to add anything to it. And what you wanna do is kinda of have it at a medium heat so you render it out and all that fat comes out of the bacon and it becomes crispy over time, not right away. Ugh, I burped. Look at this, see? I haven't turned the heat up, I haven't done anything. Just medium heat, slowly, slowly, slowly. Beautiful, there we go, look at this. This is what you're looking for! We're gonna throw in a half a pound of butter. This is a lot, because this you need this amount of fat. You're like, I don't know what he's doing. He's throwing in half a pound of butter in with just a pile of bacon and bacon fat. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just gonna add all those onions. Oh. It's so good. So that's about four pounds of onions. So that's like eight onions worth. Everyone's so literal with recipes. Once you make a recipe once or twice, you'll kind of see that maybe some things aren't for you. If you want to dice your onion for this, dice your onion for this. If you want to leave your onions whole with the skins on, fucking do it. I'm just trying to give you like the gateway. I'm giving you that little, you know, little, mm, here's a little tab of acid. Lick on that for a while, you know? Open your mind. Now we've got all the onions are nice and coated. And eventually after hours of cooking, literally hours of cooking, all these onions are gonna be super, super caramelized. So we're just gonna power through and we're gonna make some cheeseburgers, okay? Yeah! Now, this is just a big old greasy ball of ground beef. I think the perfect patty size for a cheeseburger, six ounces. I don't have a, you know, a scale here, so we're gonna eyeball it. So like a good palm. We're just gonna pat it around. Just use your fingers and you mold out kind of like a perfect little patty. I'm just gonna make two. I think two's more than enough. You don't wanna season anything. You don't wanna put breadcrumbs or Worcestershire sauce or anything like that. You just wanna have like, like treat your burgers like steak. I'm gonna make our dill pickle mayo. We're gonna slice those puppies up and we're gonna add literally mayonnaise. This is almost like a, like a mayo relish. I got about a cup of diced dill pickle. We're gonna add a cup of mayo of your, your preference. I'm a Hellman's guy. Once again, Hellman's, send the check. We got a cast iron pan. We want to get hot, but not super hot. This is like a medium high. So we're just going to season it with salt and pepper. Our, our cast iron pan is warm. You can see that it's not smoking, but... And we're just going to push it down a little bit to get that contact. So our patties are going. Our bacon onion jam cooking to the side. So once you get this to caramelization, add a cup of red wine vinegar. Mmm. Give it a stir. You can just keep cooking that. And that vinegar really makes this bacon onion jam something else. Let me show you something. This is a switch out, okay? Let's be real. Let's be real. So this is what it's gonna look like. And this takes hours and hours to do. So we're gonna flip the burgers. Look at this. Oh, man, see that? Nice and crispy. I'm in love. So we have beautiful little potato buns, brioche buns, any kind, just get a good bun. 
So we're just gonna butter our buns, cuz you always butter your buns, and you want it to be like just like a grilled cheese almost. So at this moment, these burgers are still like medium rare. I'm just gonna put on some bacon onion jam on top of each one. A good pile. Boom, 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 boom. And then Monterey Jack cheese. We're just gonna put a few slices on there. Oh, 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 I love it! Our buns are good, like little donuts. Little soft donuts, nice. Now, we're gonna turn the heat off. Shut it down. Put a lid on, just take a little water. We're just gonna steam it, and it's gonna steam the cheese really quickly. We're gonna plate these up. Bottoms, beautifully soft. We're gonna put a little sauce on the bottom of each bird. Then, a little iceberg lettuce, a little crunch. Iceberg lettuce is the greatest lettuce of all time. Look at that. Woo! Look at that guy. That's a good guy. And now we're gonna put that on top. Put that guy on top. And now we're gonna just put a big old plop. Mm. Dill pickle mayo on top of this guy. Look at this. Jesus Murphy. These birds could talk. How many chefs hated making these? You'd have to work Burger Station for one month. But if you could make these burgers at Parts and Labor, you'd have the respect of the crew. These are messy. These are kind of messy burgers. Look at that. I'm gonna try a bite right now. Oh my God, it's so good. It's the best. It's the best. A little piece of me to a piece of you. History writes itself.